Good morning, Marcus from Qigong 15 here and today I'd like to look at handling disturbances to your Qigong practice. Now, it's not a question of if a disturbance is going to happen, it's just a question of when it's going to happen. At some point your Qigong practice is going to be disturbed, whether it's a phone, a friend, a hole in the ground, doesn't matter, you'd be amazed how they can manifest. And the problem with a disturbance is that if it's not handled properly, it can cause your chi to scatter, which can result in um, you know, you're feeling nervous or anxious or fearful for no good reason, and that can happen weeks after the event, unless you know how to handle it properly. So that's the focus of this week's blog post. So jump on over to the post I've written for you. Feel free to leave any questions or comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye for now. <music>